when you say like focused and, and in control, yeah, I'd like to think I'm in control, but I don't think I'll ever be in control because I don't know what can actually come. What I have control over is... You only have control over the things you have control of. Right, right, right. And so even even some of the things that I'm going after, like I just got some news the other or past last weekend on something that I had been meditating on for six or seven months now. And it's the biggest thing that I've I've done thus far in my life. And I had to kind of take a step back because it was just like, wow, the, the, the ama- I'm so amazed that when you have focused for six months, how far you can actually go. And so that's kind of where it stems from. But I, I hold myself to a high standard, too. And so, you know, I, I, I'm fearful of if I lose control or lose my routine of workouts, eating, then it's going to take me down a, a negative path that I don't want to go down. I, I feel like I struggle with definitely the same thing, but I don't, I have a very high ideal, but I don't reach that ideal like ever. You know, mm-hmm. like I, I have this idea of what I should be eating, I have this idea of this exercise routine I should be doing like, you know, weekly. I have, uh, you know, I have all these ideals, but literally I'm in the, like I'm in the feeling of never getting to those ever those those ideals i mean sometimes i do and it feels good and it's like oh, i accomplished something and i really do c- accomplish a good amount of things it's not like mm-hmm. i'm you know just sit laying in bed all day or anything but it's because my ideal is too like i set such high ideals it's like i always feel like i'm just reaching and i just can't get there you mm-hmm. know what i mean so i don't know i i, I guess do you just but your your ideals are still very high, it seems like, but you're better at reaching them, it seems like to me. I set myself up for success. So what I mean by that is I think it's it's easy to write down goals that are that are unrealistic. So I would never write down a goal of I wanna be I wanna go to the moon because I know that's not something I'm gonna reach because my mindset isn't in that direction. Now I have other goals to where I have an, a vision, so I'd, I would say I have more of a vision than actual this must be met. So I've got a vision of where I'm going, and so the reason that works for me is because when I set my vision and set my intentions towards my vision, they manifest themselves. But if I actually write something on a piece of paper, I want to become a millionaire in one year, that's a goal that I can't reach. I know that's not possible. Now if well, I say 15 years, that may be more... I guess knowing yourself is probably a big part yes, of that. True. But like I know myself. I know that after a show late at night there's a good chance that nothing's gonna be open but McDonald's, which mm. is very unfortunate. And I probably should plan better. But a lot of times I just don't. So like that's a simple goal. Like it's a simple goal like, oh just go get food at the grocery store before two AM. And it's like something dumb like that. Like I just will blank on it. I just won't mm-hmm. do it. Now, you you wouldn't do something like that. Hell no. You're right. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's exactly what I mean. You you have these. You have a, a very strict ideal on a lot of areas, but you stick to it. It seems like. And I have a tougher time. I have those same strict ideals, but I never can get there. You know what I yeah. mean? I think once, and you made a good point of, of knowing yourself and now I'll, I'll go back to therapy. Like therapy has taught me what I am and what I am not. So there are things that I know, like as far as paying attention to detail, that is something I've always struggled with. And I know I'm not very good at that, but it's something that I can slowly work towards. Now being consistent with diet and workouts i know that's something i am so there's a there's a difference of knowing yourself but then also the the balance of knowing who you are and knowing who you're not because i think but i guess my thing is like i know that like i want to not eat mcdonald's at 2 a.m and i know that like there's a good chance i i would do it you Mm -hmm. know but how do you overcome that like you know, how do you just that little? T- and this is something small and stupid, I know. And it's not like I eat McDonald's all the time. But the, right now, it's really weird too because you know when I used to do shows, you'd get home at you know one two a.m. There'd mm-hmm. be a lot of places open. It's really just down, after like eleven p.m. That's like it is McDonald's. Like everywhere's so short staffed. And uh, so I've been running into this problem more as of late. Where because I mean. You know, I could get a burrito somewhere. I wouldn't feel as bad about it as opposed to like a 
a cheeseburger from McDonald's. You know, there's just something, <laughs> yeah. something dirty about that. Just saying it out loud makes me feel disgusting. Yeah. That's and, the devil's word. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. That's how I feel about it. But I still do it. I'm not going to lie and be yeah. like one of those people that would be like, oh, I'd never eat McDonald's. Like, yeah, I, mean, I do. You know, I, I feel guilty about it when I do. Uh, it's something I try to avoid. But I guess my question is, like, I know myself to the point that, like, I know my standard is not to eat McDonald's, mm. but I also know that there's going to be times where I'm not going to meet that standard, and uh, I don't prepare very well for that. And I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm. I'm. In a lot of ways, I put a lot of things out. I do a lot of things. I create as much content as I can. On, you know, I work out. I get a lot of things accomplished, but it's like I'm a mess. Like I'm a mess mm. that I just do things, do things, do things. It's not super organized, but I'll, like even this podcast, like I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like I, I just, oh, let's throw a camera up today. Like let's just <laughs> see what happens. You know, like I don't or, show. You know, uh, my Blair, the guy I used to play with all the time. Yeah. Uh, you know, he we would go and set up, and it was always so funny the how he would set things up. Everything was so detailed, so specific. He's just that type of guy. You know, he has he has like a very like specific way of doing things. I just like plop stuff on the ground and like by the end of it it looks okay you know yeah. but you know it's just like a disgusting mess until you know i and I, I don't have any plan i'm like i'm gonna do this this and this and then i do it and then it's like okay next thing you know mm -hmm. like i'm very focused in how i do it but again it's it's like it always starts from a mess mm -hmm. and i think that's a metaphor for me as a person <laughs>